Hi, and welcome to episode two of Slick's video guide to the news groups. This episode is the introduction to the news groups where we talk about how the news groups work. Now, you might be wondering what this cupcake has to do with the news groups. Well, I think we can draw a couple similarities. I can't eat this whole cupcake in one shot and really enjoy it, but I can if I take little bits at a time. Now, the news groups can't take a lot of information at the same time either. They can only accept small text message files. So, how does a large ISO file find its way onto the news groups? Mm, we'll show you how. The news groups are designed to accept text messages that are at most a few hundred kilobytes. So how on earth can a large 700 megabyte movie file propagate from one news server to the next and ultimately end up on the user's machine? Or what about a smaller 5 megabyte MP3? How about the slick way? Let's start off with a large file and how it distributes throughout Usenet. Typically, a file that is 700 megabytes is broken down into 15 megabyte chunks, leaving us with 47 parts. We now have an archive. MP3s are not usually archived because of their small size. At this point, 46 of the 47 parts are 15 megabytes each. One part will be the remaining data of around 10 megabytes. But the parts still cannot upload to the new server for two reasons. They're still way too large and they're binary files, not text. To resolve this, each of the 47 parts must be broken down even further and converted into text so the new server will accept the message. Every circumstance is unique, but here, a single 15 megabyte part is made up of 70 text messages, each message totaling around 200 kilobytes. The messages are now small enough and in the correct format to upload. Your new server then shares those messages with all the others that it routinely connects to. Eventually, the encoded files will have found their way to all the new servers around the world. If you're looking for high quality access to the news groups, check out Red Orb News at www.redorbnews.com for all these great features at low prices. Let's take a look at an archive downloading in alt bins. If we look at the bottom half of the screen, we can see the individual text messages downloading from the news server. With this particular post, there are 89 text messages that make up a part. In the upper half of the window, alt bins combines these messages to appear as one raw file. To sum things up, this one thread is just one of the 89 text messages that makes up a part in an archive. As you grab these articles, the newsreader will automatically convert the text back into binary, resulting in a complete 700 megabyte movie file. And that's how the news groups work in a nutshell. That concludes episode two. Remember, if you want to find out more information, just go to www.slick.com forward slash ng, where there's an active community willing to help. Thanks for joining us. Look out for episode three coming soon.